Welcome guys, this is a weapons comparison video between two popular assault rifles, the M416 and the Barrel, two guns that have for a long time been a healthy topic for debate due to their popularity. But if you are in a situation where you can choose which weapon to pick up, then you must be asking yourself which one is better. Let's start off by why this is a discussion in the first place, the damage. Comparing the time to kill, notice how the lower arms and hands together with the lower legs and feet is 86 milliseconds lower with the barrel. This is the same for all armor as limbs are unaffected by armor. Comparing level 1 geared players, the barrel will kill 86 milliseconds faster shooting the upper chest compared to the M416. Comparing level 2 geared players, the barrel will kill 86 milliseconds faster shooting the shoulder and the lower torso area. Finally, against level 3, the barrel kills 86 milliseconds faster shooting the neck, shoulder and two regions in the lower torso. So the barrel will kill less than a tenth of a second faster when shooting in some regions and limbs. Of course, these numbers are only relevant when all the bullets hit the target, because missing one bullet will make it all fall apart. Always be careful overestimating time to kill in a game where the recoil is partly random. And speaking of recoil, we of course have to compare this too. Both weapons using optimal attachments, compensator vertical grip and attack stock for the M416. The barrel has 35% higher vertical recoil than the M416. And measuring the maximum horizontal recoil, the barrels seem to have slightly more too. Remember that the more vertical recoil you have, the less noticeable will the horizontal recoil be as these lines will look more straight. But even if we ignore the horizontal recoil, the vertical recoil is the big problem as it will indirectly affect your horizontal control. Both guns have identical rate of fire, meaning not only do you have to pull down longer with the barrel, but also faster. To demonstrate why this is a challenge, I'm drawing a straight line slowly. This simulates controlling a weapon with very low vertical recoil and as you can see, my horizontal precision is pretty good. But when drawing a straight line in a faster motion, my horizontal precision falls off and I lose accuracy. You might be a god drawing a straight line super fast though, so this won't apply to you, but I doubt it. Moving on to single fire, I compare the weapon's kick or how bouncy they are by measuring the max reticle position when firing a single shot. And then I also record a new reticle resting position after that shot. When comparing the two weapons over 10 shots, the barrel kicks 20% higher up when shooting. The spread of the new reticle position is also higher for the barrel, which will require more realignment between shots. So when it comes to handling, the M416 is significantly more accurate and easy to control. Comparing the bullet velocity of the weapons, the M416 has an initial bullet velocity of 880 meters per second, where the barrel has 680 meters per second, making it harder to hit moving targets. And also don't forget that in a direct duel between two players, the player who first hits the lethal shot will win the fight, while the bullet damage of the losing player will be cancelled. The slow bullet velocity also means that the bullet drop will be much higher on the barrel. This is a 400 meter shot and I have marked the aim point for this distance on the 6x scope for comparison. When looking at the sway of the weapons, the M416 does have less sway due to being able to equip a tactical stock. The ADS speed of the weapons is identical. But when testing the reload speed, the M416 again comes out ahead. So picking up an M416 in a hot drop will be preferable as you'll be able to shoot faster. And speaking of being able to shoot faster, don't forget to have your assault rifles default to full auto in the settings, because otherwise you'll have to click through a useless burst mode with the barrel, which will delay you further. The weight of the ammunition used is lower for the M416, allowing you to carry 30% more ammunition in the same bag space. This is of course relevant as you'll be able to carry more grenades, smokes, healing and so on. And finally, the audible distance of the two weapons is identical, as they can both be heard up to 650 meters away. 
So in conclusion, the barrel has an 86 millisecond faster time to kill on certain body parts, and for that reason it comes out ahead in the damage comparison. The M416 has better full auto recoil and better single fire recoil. It also has faster bullet velocity and less bullet drop. The M416 has less sway as it can attach a tactical stock, but the ADS speed is identical. The reload speed is faster for the M416 and the ammo weight is also lower. The audible distance is identical. So there can be absolutely no doubt that the M416 is overall a far superior weapon. But if you are going for close quarters combat, then the barrel will beat the M416 on damage. But then again, if you are going for close quarters, then you might consider using a submachine gun instead. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.